Hi everyone, this is going to be a really quick video about this little gadget that's meant to make a surgical mask more comfortable to wear, especially for those that might be in the hospitals or other clinics where they have to wear them for several hours at a time and it basically loops around the ears and they say it gets painful. So I saw this story about this little boy in America, he's printing like dozens of these and giving them to healthcare workers, frontliners. So I got the printer, got busy and I've been printing lots of these since yesterday and we'll be sending these to our friends in the hospital and also some other frontliners like I spoke to QC Depot a little while ago and I said I would give them some. So it's pretty simple how it works. Normally the face mask or the surgical mask goes on and it loops around the ears. But the idea of this is that you put this at the back of your head and then take the loops. Sorry my hair is so messy, but we're in quarantine, so okay. So hopefully you can see that on camera. Basically it takes the strain away from your ears and spreads it over the back of your head. So they say this is a lot more comfortable. Now, I haven't tested this for an extended period of time, but when I was doing my EDSA operations, I used to wear masks like this. Now, this is not technically an N95. They call this a PM 2.5 because it hasn't passed testing. Now, this mask has actually already been used like months and months and months ago, uh, but I can tell you that after three, four hours, this got really painful on the ears. And actually, if you read the instructions on the box for these, they say there should be a clip that goes at the back of your head. Now, one thing I am a little bit worried about is, I don't know if this has gone through any kind of clinical testing. Sorry, by the way, it's so hot today. Last few days, 34, 33, 35 degrees Celsius, crazy hot, so I'm sweating a little bit. So I don't know if there's been any clinical tests of this. I don't know if there's any downsides of stretching these straps further than what they were originally designed for. So I'm not saying, hey, you have to use this, you should use this, this is better for you. I'm just saying that I saw the story, I thought it's interesting, and I thought, well, we'll start 3D printing them, send them off to our friends, they can try them out. I am a little bit worried if it might overstretch these or if they might snap, but so far in my testing, it's been okay. Now I've also been printing some of these visor shield, face shields that you put on here and then you put an acrylic sheet. But what I found is if you put the acrylic sheet and there's no rubber band at the back, what this does typically is it slides down the face. And then if you put a rubber band at the back, it digs into your face. It's very, very uncomfortable. So I think this one here is probably not a very good design. It's better if it has a straight edge here that goes up against your forehead. Anyway, just a quick video. Ah, there's one more thing. Not everyone has a 3D printer, obviously. Not everyone has filament. Not everyone can get the bed to be level so that it can print larger things. You can make these out of plastic. Here's an old shoe box. It was never a very good shoe box, so I cut it down, I took the plastic, and I just made a simple DIY one. And this also works. It's a little bit more difficult because instead of having the bits to come out, it goes in. But you can see I can put that in the little slot that I cut into this plastic. Put, oops, it's upside down. Sorry, I'm trying to do this all in one shot so that I can upload the video because I really have a lot of things to do. So put it in one side. Come on, put this around the back of the head. Clip that in and there you go. Again, we've got the same thing where the relief is spread across the head and it's not all on the ears. So you don't need a 3D printer. You can DIY this. Here's another design I made. It doesn't have to be anything amazing. You know, if you have the plastic, sorry, if you have the plastic, you can pump these out very quickly, give them to your friends who are doctors, nurses, healthcare professionals, frontliners. And uh, yeah, it's just one more thing in the fight. And uh, thanks for watching.